support black business, who support us. And, you know, if anything, um, just be a little bit more um, open-minded to what's going on and don't believe everything you hear. Because a lot of the shit that's going on in this right now is everybody kind of thinking about themselves. Everybody trying to make their name bigger than the Knicks. All the bullshit that's going on, you know what I'm saying? Right. It's like boxing, you know? Everybody want to dig up everybody's dirt. That ain't You don't have to do that to make a big race. You ain't got to dig nobody's dirt up and try to shit on nobody's name, you know what I'm saying, to, to be able to make yourself bigger than what they are. Let your car speak for itself. And that's the SSP thing. That's one of our biggest things, you know what I'm saying? We on, on the motherfucker ass we go, the SSP way. You feel me? Like, we ain't out here trying to do none of that. We came in the game. We decided we wanted to race. Our builder, our um, the owner of SSP himself, he been doing it for a long time. And we ain't trying to build our name by taking shots at nobody. You know what I'm saying? We, we just want to come into the game, do what we slated to do. Give the fans what they what they able to do. Let them see a pretty car if it, if that's what it is, and and move on. You know what I'm saying? Right. And and, and that's it. You know what I mean? I'm here to unite. I'm not here to beef and bicker with my brothers. You know what I'm saying? Of culture. I'm here to unite and, and see people make money. I have seen a lot of money, and I know what it takes to make money and a lot of people that made money the way they make it and if we can re if we can unite all of our minds in racing something that truth be told when you think about it, it's not many black people in racing but we are creating a fucking sport and they don't respect it. if we can respect it we could have something to call our own but what's gonna happen is we've given the other side we've given them the lane and you know what they gonna do Come snatch it. If we don't, yeah. if we don't stop doing some of the stuff we doing, yeah. I um, you know, with that being said, I definitely want to tell you, we I appreciate you sitting down, being willing to um, as the comments keep saying, drop jewels on us. Um, admittedly, I was I was gonna DM you and tell you. We weren't gonna talk today because I was I was really aggravated. But I'm glad I did. I'm glad I sat down to talk to you today. Uh, let me tell you something. You're a woman that's out here playing with a lot of malicious men. Don't allow nothing that nobody say or do to you to kill right. your spirit and make you stop doing what you're doing. Your opinion is your opinion. What you believe right. is what you believe in. Right. Only thing I can say is gain the knowledge of what you're doing. Right. Continue to do it and let it grow. Some of the right. folks that's talking shit about you, it's like, oh, I was gonna do that, and and it's like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Don't don't let nobody steal your joy, KP. Like, you entitled to your opinion. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. Like, you entitled to it, and that's what they that's what a lot of people want you to do. Like, it's like my broadcast and stuff like that. I had somebody real close to me. To uh -huh. me the fuck you doing that for? Uh, <laughs> like, can't nobody stop me from doing nothing that I want to do. Right. You know what I'm that's saying? Just, that's just the way it is. So it makes sense. Keep doing what you're doing. You know, I appreciate being even asked. I'm, 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 uh, I'm oblivious and I'm, I'm grateful for the opportunity to sit here and talk to the fans, the people, you know what I'm saying? And, and, allow people to see things from my perspective because that's all it is. Everything is not a fact. You know what I'm saying? It's just my opinion. And, you know, that's what it is. Yeah. My mama crazy. My daughter crazy. Tell me they better stop messing with her mama. I ain't no, I'm good. I just, but get what you know, my, my whole thing with this situation be, I really get frustrated because I'm coming from, a, from being a female first. Mm -hmm. I try to tell our men, we need y'all. Mm -hmm. We need y'all to be strong men. Mm -hmm. And when y'all, um, it's a rap song, and I and I think it's Drake. And I, I think I posted it the other day. It said, it bothers me when the gods get to acting like the broad. Mm -hmm. And, I, and it, it hurts me so much to my heart to see our men, some of our men act the way they do. Well, and so when they do... Some and so when they do, 
I come from a place of trying to tell them, hey, bro, y'all got to work. Y'all work it out. Either work it out or shut up. Oh, shit. The fuck but up. then you then then you perceive it as me needing to say, oh, well, I, I'm with my tech. I ain't with this person. No, I'm with what's right. Yeah. So I just don't get it. It's kind of like, um, oh, you're a girl. You got to sit down and be quiet. No, that ain't true because I was raised by a, a girl. Right. And this and that girl that raised me never had to go sit down and motherfucking be quiet. She stood up and talked. She stood right. up and showed me what a bitch ass man because right. some some of us are some bitch ass niggas. Right. She stood up and showed me what a bitch ass man could never do. I'm right. glad my daddy wasn't in my life because some of the bitch ass shit that I see him do right now, I would have right. never been able to account that to my personality. I wouldn't have the personality that I have today and the willpower and the ability to be able to fight for what I want and have the voice that I have and have the knowledge that I have if my daddy, who was a robber, a killer, what I told y'all in the beginning, had. I wouldn't be able to have that. The way my daddy handled situation, if he would have taught me to tuck my tail and run, right. I, who would I be? That's what, a, that's what you say. That's what niggas do. You know what my daddy like to do? Oh, you taking that person's side. I don't take sides. I am the most neutral person living. Right. I don't care if it's my brother, my mama, my grandmama, or my daughter. When you're wrong, you fucking wrong. Right. And that's just how it goes. You right. win some, you lose some. A part of life is understanding when, you, when you're when you wrong and it's understanding. What I tell people all the time, if you have understanding, you're going to win. If you don't have understanding... You're going to lose every motherfucking time. And a lot of people like the gaslight situations. You know what gaslighting is? Go ahead. I'm when trying. you lack understanding or knowledge, you know what the first thing people do? What? Oh, I ain't finna fucking argue with you. <laughs> that is a real... No, this is real. It's a disorder right. called gaslighting. Right. And a lot of people suffer with that because they wasn't challenged to be a human being when they were growing up. And right. all they know to do is when you're not agreeing with them to tell you that you're wrong. And, and telling somebody that they're arguing, and here's the other thing that we do as black people. When somebody has more knowledge than you, or you think they have more knowledge other than you accepting the fact that they're trying to give it to you, we say, oh, that motherfucker think they know everything. That's a culture a culture shock. It's right. fucked up amongst our people, so don't, don't let nobody make you feel like nothing. Go get your knowledge, do what you're doing. Right. Fuck what they feel. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, Rise and Vibe or KP or whatever can end up being the biggest thing going. You know what I'm saying? Right. Outside of me doing this, the things that I have going is big. I got into something that I wanted to rebuild on. You know what I'm saying? Right. I've been, I have these people calling my phone wanting to do this and that for a long time. KP, I was like, I don't want to do that. Right. You know what I'm saying? But it's because we are so worried about these ignorant ass comments that people gonna put out there. People gonna say something about you when you're dead and gone. Uh huh. You're right. Uh, I tell people all the time. They talk about Jesus Christ. So you know, I'm not. I'm not. No. I'm definitely not no better than him. So that is, that just is what it is. But like I said, I appreciate it. Helped me because I was I was almost gonna t gonna uh, hit you up and be like, Hey man, listen, today we gonna have to reschedule. We we may not even do it, but you know. Yeah, it, it, it was it was beneficial for me and, and, and everybody else as well. I think.